Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, Living in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in our VA. This will be the second video in our series about luxury home neighborhoods in different areas of Richmond. In this video, we'll show you four different luxury neighborhoods in Midlothian. You will also get to see just how pretty Richmond is during the fall. The last neighborhood we cover in this video is a real hidden gem, so be sure to stay to the end. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. I'm Taylor Jefferson. And I'm Sarah Jefferson. And we own and operate Jefferson Grove Real Estate. We have helped tons of families relocate to Richmond. And if you're thinking about doing the same, be sure to download our free Richmond relocation guide. It's full of useful information all about Richmond and the surrounding areas. The link is in the comments below and on our banner image. If you haven't done so already, you have to subscribe to our channel. Every week we'll be posting new videos all about living in Richmond, including more neighborhood tours, real estate advice, fun things to do in RVA, and lots more. Now, with all that being said, let's dive into today's video all about luxury neighborhoods in Midlothian. So, how did we define luxury for this video? Well, you know luxury when you see it. The neighborhoods that I talk about today definitely fit the bill in both price and look and feel. If you've been following our channel, then you know this isn't the first video we've done about Midlothian. And we've actually covered quite a few neighborhoods that would also fall into this category but we really want to focus on new content that you haven't seen before. So on the right side of your screen, we have some other luxury neighborhoods from our previous videos, so be sure to check those out if you haven't already. I'm going to start with Halsley because you can't discuss luxury neighborhoods in Midlothian without talking about the absolute best. I will be brief with this because we've covered Halsley so much and I don't want to beat a dead horse. In spirit of new content though, I went back out and got new footage in different sections of Halsley that I haven't shown you before. I have to say, though, that I always have the worst luck, and it seems that whenever I go out and have time to get content, nine times out of ten, it's trash day. Despite my luck, even with everyone's trash can by the curb, it's still a beautiful neighborhood. I would live here even if it's trash day every day. Halsley is truly the best of the best, with gorgeous custom homes built from 2008 to 2020, with most of the construction really taking place from 2014 and on. Halsley has over 500 homes with sizes ranging from 2,500 square feet up to 8,000 square feet and prices ranging from the low 600s to over a million dollars. There aren't many cons to living in Halsley at all. It is a bit further removed than other neighborhoods and taking a left from Highway 60 during rush hour can be problematic, but I think that all the pros far outweigh the cons. Up next, we head just a little further south to the neighborhood of Newmarket Estates. This neighborhood is located right off Otterdale Road, just south of Old Hundred Road. There are actually other sections of Newmarket called Newmarket Villages located further south on Otterdale Road, but the luxury homes are all in the northernmost section. Newmarket Estates is like a miniature Halsley, but with only 163 homes in the northern section. The Parade of Homes was actually held in Newmarket for a while, as many of the houses here were built by custom builders and are absolutely stunning. The year built ranges from 2016 up to 2021 with a handful of building opportunities left. What I love so much about this neighborhood is how beautiful the homes are, and there's a community pool located in the neighborhood too. Newmarket is also technically part of the round trade development despite the two neighborhoods not being geographically connected. What that means is that you get access to all the amenities that round trade offers, which include a super nice pool, walking trails, a future dog park, and more. Other pros include the obvious beautiful exteriors. It's newer construction, so the floor plans and finishes will be great, and you get Midlothian school systems. And all things considered, it's relatively affordable. Prices range from the high 500s up to around $900,000, and sizes range from 2,900 square feet up to 4,900 square feet. The houses here have between four and six bedrooms, with most having three and a half bathrooms. The negatives to this neighborhood is that there is no mistaking it's a newer construction neighborhood and the lots are on the smaller side. And unless you're on the end of a cul-de-sac near the woods, you don't really get any mature landscaping and trees. Probably the most important thing to know before you buy a home in Newmarket is that Chesterfield County has a proposed highway extension that would cut across Otterdale Road and go right in between the new section of Newmarket and the southernmost part of Newmarket Estates. So I would be sure not to buy a home on one of the lots near that proposed new highway. Up next is the neighborhood of Rosemont. Rosemont is located off of North Otterdale Road and Winterfield Road, sandwiched between two other luxury neighborhoods that we've discussed before, Founders Bridge and Salisbury. Driving through Rosemont, you know you are somewhere special. Rosemont is like Texas almost because everything is bigger here. The homes range in size from 3,000 square feet up to 8,000 square feet, with an average at a little over 4,600, which tops the list for today. 
Not only are the houses larger, but so are the yards. Practically all of these homes sit on an acre or more, and since this is an older neighborhood, you actually have beautiful mature landscaping and lots and lots of pretty trees. The houses here have between four to six bedrooms with two and a half up to a ridiculous six and a half bathrooms. A decent amount of homes here have pools in the backyard because you definitely have the space for it, and why not? You're rich, right? The neighborhood exudes sophistication, and I especially love the curb appeal. What's not to love is that there really aren't any real amenities provided by the HOA, so that backyard pool is actually a pretty good idea. Also, some of these homes are from the 90s, and they might feel dated, especially when you compare it to what you could get for the same price with new construction. But they don't build them like they used to, and finding these large lots with new construction won't be easy or cheap. An added bonus is that if you golf, you're really close to the Independence Golf Course at Founders Bridge and the golf course at Salisbury Country Club. The school systems here are great, with the neighborhood feeding into Betty Weaver Elementary, Midlothian Middle, and Midlothian High. So this last one is a hidden gem, and while we've seen it a bunch from the side of the road, it's absolutely stunning once you get inside the neighborhood. Our last luxury neighborhood in Midlothian is Oak Park, and it's another custom-built neighborhood. It's located right off Huguenot Road near the intersection of Huguenot and Robius. This location is both good and bad. On the plus side is that you have a ton of nearby amenities, including a Kroger shopping center, tons of restaurants, and a new Trader Joe's only two and a half miles away, and everything that Midlothian Turnpike has to offer, which is a lot. The con related to this location is that if you need to get out of the Midlothian bubble, it isn't the easiest to do so because lots of the roads are 45 mile per hour residential roads with a ton of stoplights before you get to a highway connection. There are only 84 homes in Oak Park, so supply-wise, it's pretty exclusive. As evident by the beautiful exteriors, these houses are built on the newer side with the year built ranging from 2003 to 2016. Our favorite thing about this neighborhood is the curb appeal. There are sidewalks throughout and the developer did a great job of leaving lots of green space and trees when they cleared the lots for the houses. While not what I would call a tiny house, these are on the smaller side for today's video with the square footage ranging from 2400 up to 4300. Prices range from the mid 600s to the low 800s, and in return you'll get a three to five bedroom home with an average of three and a half baths. Since these are newer custom built homes, they don't feel outdated and the finishes are quite nice inside. One last con is that the HOA is somewhat expensive at $350 per quarter, yet you don't really get any real amenities with it as that fee only covers community maintenance, which don't get me wrong, the HOA does keep the community looking beautiful, but you're paying for it. The school systems here are Robius Elementary, Robius Middle, and James River High School. So there you have it. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, let us know by hitting that like button or leaving us a comment. We have many more great videos coming up, including more luxury neighborhoods and other areas of Richmond. So you'll definitely want to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any. If you're thinking about moving to Richmond, be sure to hit us up. We can make your move stress-free and easy. We also want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's reached out to us already. We appreciate your support of our business and this channel. Thank you for being here with us today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.